Jessica Beck here with another edition of IELTS Energy TV. And today I'm going to give you a sample part two answer describing a festival. Um, in the last video, we talked about lots of high scoring vocabulary to help you get high scores when describing festivals. And we also mentioned the fact that there are many different kinds of festivals. So you have to be specific about that in your answer. Um, so let's get to it my part two answer for describing a festival um you know i when i saw this topic i floundered for a moment because i don't really go to lots of festivals i don't really like big crowds or loud noises and honestly like lots of the parades and carnivals and stuff around here are kind of pricey so the best I could come up with was thinking about a music festival I went to, the last music festival I went to, which was, oh gosh, eight years ago in San Francisco. Um, it was called Outside Lands. And as with any music festival, there were tons of bands, but the only band I cared about was Pearl Jam because Pearl Jam has been um, a core musical influence of mine since high school, since the beginning of grunge music. And this was my chance to finally see my musical idols, Eddie Vedder in person. So uh, my friend, it was his 30th birthday. So this was the perfect opportunity to celebrate his birthday and witness one of the icons of the 90s, one of the best bands of all time um, at the same time as we celebrate his birthday. So let me get to the most important, amazing part of this. Okay. Um, at the end of the show, Eddie Vedder was losing his voice because they had been on tour and there were thousands of people in the audience, right? Um, so he let the people sing instead of him and we all knew the words because we're all huge fans. It was just a really special moment to be connected to all these people I didn't know as fellow Pearl Jam fans. And um, towards the end of the show, Eddie Vedder like jumped off the stage. He leaped off the stage and there was an opening that went through the middle of the stage for like you know, medical people to help if there were was a problem. And Eddie Vedder ran down through this corridor and I held out my hand and I high-fived Eddie Vedder. Okay, that was just over two minutes. I barely made it. I really wanted to finish that story because <laughs> this was like the most miraculous day for me, high-fiving Eddie Vedder. Anyway, um, I think in describing uh, events like this, festivals and celebrations, it allows you to sort of up your pronunciation, right? You, you could hear the excitement in my voice because as I was talking, I was reliving this amazing memory, all right? So allow this to come through in your pronunciation. Guys, remember, in order to get a seven or higher for pronunciation, the examiner has to hear you be expressive. That means you have to show emotion in your voice. And I believe this topic is one of the easiest to do that with, okay? So relive that memory in your pronunciation, guys. Okay, um, for more tips and tricks, all the strategies you need, to increase your IELTS scores, go to allearsenglish.com forward slash K-E-Y-S and become a Three Keys student today. Guys, it is guaranteed to raise your IELTS scores, so get in now. Okay, guys, thank you so much for watching today, and I hope you have a lovely rest of the day and an, and a, an amazing day tomorrow, and I will see you in the next video.